Welcome back to Splunk Training. So in this video, uh, we'll be discussing about downloading and uh, installation of uh, the latest Splunk version on Linux as well as uh, on Windows. Okay. So for now, um, let me try to download it for Linux first, and later we'll discuss on uh, Windows. Okay. So you need to uh, just try to Google a uh, Splunk download. So where uh, you, you'll, you'll be able to see one official uh, Splunk website. Just click on there, and if you are new to Splunk, you need to provide some information to create an account. And once that is done, just um, click on login here. And once uh, you give your credentials, you'll be landing out to this page. With uh, other snow for today, it is uh, Splunk Enterprise 909.0.2 is the latest version. And we have uh, binaries for different uh, distributions as well. For Windows, just select here and click on download. I think I have already downloaded the Windows version. And if you need a Linux one, or if you want Mac OS, whatever the flavor you are interested in, so just uh, select that one. And there are many packages, Debian package, uh, TZZ package, and RPM packages, which are available. I'm interested in RPM, because most of the cases uh, will be uh, making use of these RPM packages, especially on Splunk, Redux, uh, environment. So, Click on download. You don't necessarily need to download. Uh, instead, we can also uh, copy over this particular uh, software via command. So, if we, I mean, anyhow, we have a facility, right? So, we can just copy over and we can, with the help of some tools, we can uh, extract this, uh, whatever the downloaded folder to your instances. So, that is also possible. But um, I have an option to download it via command line. I'll just uh, use the get. I'll just copy this command. So basically, this command is that uh, we're just uh, getting this particular downloaded software into our machine. So coming to machines, uh, let me show you the configurations what have uh, created. So basically, here I have uh, selected c5. Uh, Large, so which means we have uh, two uh, virtual CPUs and four GB of RAM and uh, 30 GB of volumes which have uh, selected. So, and the main thing is um, I have opted for Red Hat uh, Linux. RXL 9.1. So, this is the AMI which I have selected. And coming to uh, security part, uh, I have already enabled the necessary ports which are needed for Splunk. So if we can look at here, so the first port uh, which I have enabled, which is of PCP, which is of uh, port 22, so that I'll be able to access my instance. And this is the default Splunk web port that is 8.0, so that also I have enabled here. So now we are good to install uh, Splunk software on this machine. Okay. So let me go with sudo and let me copy this command and come, come to your instance. Okay, WGP is not there. So you can always install WGP by this command. I think we have the necessary one. So now uh, let me try to extract uh, what were the software which I have which I'm planning to download from Splunk website. So basically, by executing this command, uh, we are just downloading that external package to your internal to your system, and later we'll have to uh, install this particular software on your machine. So with this step, we are just uh, extracting the necessary software from official website. We'll wait for it. I think it's done. Now, you can just do ls. This particular uh, this RPM package has been downloaded downloaded to our local machine. Now, I have the software ready in my machine. Now, I need to uh, install this particular software. How to install? Just go with sudo command. Uh, RPM hyphen I suppose data format and just give you RPM package. So by executing this command, 
we are installing the software which was downloaded by Splunk official website. So we are just uh, installing this one. Okay, it is getting completed. Now we are good. Okay, see, uh, the first step was we just extracted the binary version from the Splunk website or in, to our internal uh, instance, and later we just uh, by executing this command, right? So we just install now. We'll have to accept the license in order to accept the license. Either, um, I, I could have given the command uh, command here only, but I wanted to show you how to accept the license at the end. So, in order to accept after your installations, not you accept your license, just um, execute any of the command. So, uh, probably you just try to uh, check for the status by so executing the, that command. Will ask us to accept the agreement. Let's see that. So this is the command uh, which will help us to to show the status of my Splunk service. Let's see what is that. See, so it, it is not showing straight away because we have we are not accepted the agreement. So just keep on pressing um, space. This is the license agreement which I am uh, accepting. Right. Okay, because I have not enabled it. So once again, do the same thing. Yeah. Now, if everything goes good, it will ask me to enter username and password. So it all depends on your your uh, credentials. So just uh, try to remember what are the credentials you are giving. So I am giving uh, username as admin and password. As I like. So once you enter these things, so now uh, my Splunk software has completely installed and it is saying Splunk is not running. So, how did we check that? We just uh, started with uh, this command. So, basically, this command will help us to set status of my Splunk service. Now, as it's saying it is not running, let us try to start this service by executing this command. Now, by executing this command, I'm going to uh, start my Splunk service on my EC2 instance, which I have created. So, if you can see, this is the uh, IP address of, and this is this is the uh, the default web port which Splunk looks for, right? So now, if you can check, uh, if you can check the status, it is saying the Splunk helpers are running. Now. As we have enabled the necessary port details on this particular machine, now just uh, try to get your IP address of your machine, right? Let me get the IP address of this instance and put it in a browser. So with that, if everything looks good, then we'll be able to see our Splunk software which are installed on my machine. So what is the Port number which we are looking for, eight triple zero. Okay, this is the official page, official uh, welcome page, or uh, kind of a login page we'll get. And please enter your uh, username and password which you are given while your uh, software installation of Splunk. Then the same credential you need to give. And once that is done, you'll be able to see and navigate to multiple options within the Splunk. So this is the uh, Splunk software which we have installed on our Linux machine. And we have uh, many uh, options here, and we'll try to get into uh, in, in, into a detailed discussion uh, on each and every topic. We'll we'll have a detailed discussion for that in the upcoming session. So this is about uh, the installation of Splunk on Linux. How to install it on Windows? That we'll see. Okay, similarly, uh, we'll have to get into this uh, official uh, Splunk website. And if you are new to uh, new to uh, Splunk. Please uh, give a couple of information and create your account. One that is just log in. And here you can see uh, the option for Windows, right? So, as I mentioned earlier, so just select this Windows version. See, this is the Windows version, and you can click on that. And if you want a uh, previous releases also, for example, so this is the 9.0.2. I want 8.3.4, something like that. So if that is if that is the case, you need to uh, click on this options. So it will ask 
take us to older version see okay? dot two dot eight if if I need this particular version I can always go ahead and download this and again it also I mean uh, you can get different flavors of uh, if you need uh, Linux flavors downloads you can always come back and you can download it. so for now I have uh, downloaded the latest version for Windows so it is just a double click uh, just double click on this one as I have uh, this part complete uh, software which I have installed. So I'll just summarize what and all you need to do. So once you double click, you will get one window. And once uh, that once you get that window, you just need to enter username and password. Once you enter username and password, just uh, you know, next, next, next. And once you are done, you'll be able to get back to this particular page. So once you uh, install your uh, software on Windows, you'll be able to see this page. And how to check that? Yeah, we can check that. So it is already, uh, we have already installed and it, it is already up and running. So I'll just go with localhost, localhost in the sense, which is referring to my the Windows machine and I've enabled the host 8003. So this is the one. So which means if you can see this tab, this is the Splunk version. I mean, this Splunk have installed on AWS cloud machine on which, which is of Linux flavored, which is of uh, Red Hat Linux. So I have downloaded and I have installed the my Splunk software here. And coming to this tab, I have downloaded and installed on Windows machine. Okay, so hope uh, you guys understood this interesting part. And in our upcoming uh, sessions, we'll have detailed discussions on data integrations and everything. Okay, so that's all I had. Okay, and uh, I'll keep I'll keep on up to uploading the further uh, videos. Thank you.